Hi, everybody. Welcome to Satellite 2020. And here we are, we're right on the, the, the brink here of uh, sending humans back into space. Uh, the, the Crew Dragon is in uh, Cape Canaveral. How do you feel that you're on the doorstep here? Um, yeah, it's great that we're about to launch people to, to orbit. Uh, it's been a long time. Long um, road. 18 years. Yeah. Kid, kid, could be, kid could be in college by now. <laughs> yeah. Is it like send, you're, you're, packing, you're packing the bags you're ready to go. Can you talk about the, um, the, the talk about the, the road from a human-rated uh, space, uh, spacecraft for, for a human space flight? What were some of the challenges that you encountered along the way? Well, the thing that, the thing that concerns me most right now is that unless we improve our rate of innovation dramatically, then there is no chance of a base on the moon or a city on Mars. Not, I'll be, yeah. This is my biggest concern. Um, yeah, we don't want to be that situation. I mean, fr frankly, wh why, is, why does Soyuz still fly? I mean, Karlov is probably turning in his grave right now. Mm. Right. It's an interesting, it's an interesting question. It was designed in the 50s. Yeah, right. Right. If you told them, if, if you told Karlov and the other guys that they'd still be, we'd still be playing Soyuz in 2020, they'd be like, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, we are. Uh, there's really just one thing that matters that is a fully and rapidly reusable rocket. Uh, that, that's the one thing that matters. Mm -hmm. What I was referring to is technology does not automatically improve. Right. Uh, people are used to the phone being better every year. Um, although, and I'm an iPhone user, but I think like, some of the recent software updates have been like, not great, certainly feeding it to that point. Um, it like broke my email system. Like what the? This is like quite fundamental. Orbit. Um, uh, but now, now that the satellites are on orbit, uh, I'd be impressed if if somebody could actually tell me where where all of them are. Mm. I've not met someone who can tell me where all of them are. Not even one person. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So that, I mean, it can't be that big of a deal. We're thinking about that zero. Was that, we're thinking about that what? Zero. Zero? Zero. Not thinking about it at all. We need to make the thing work. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's far from obvious that, I mean, it's real important to just set the stage here for LEO communications constellations. Guess how many uh, LEO constellations uh, didn't go bankrupt? Mm -hmm. Zero. Right. Zero. So like, I mean, you are launching other constellations. Uh, is that, is that a, an issue? Does that cause a, a conflict? Or We're launching other constellations? Oh, you're launching other satellites. So what, oh, right? yeah, sure, whatever, yeah, no problem. Of course. Right. So there's no, like, you know. We're you know even giving them a good deal, by the way. <laughs> like, uh, no problem. You want to launch a constellation on SpaceX? Sounds good to me. All um, right. Yeah, we were just want to be in the not bankrupt category. That's our goal. Um, if the schedule is, schedule is long, your design is wrong. <laughs> right. And along those lines, if you were to go back in time and talk to your 20-year-old self, would you do anything differently? Go back in time to your 20-year-old self. I mean, I think, I'd, if I, get a, I think it would make a lot, far fewer mistakes, obviously, if I could go, <laughs> like, here's a list of all the dumb things you're about to do. Please do not do them. <laughs> Wouldn't we yeah, all? It'd be a very long list. And like, you know, here, let me you know, write it down or something. You know. um, I mean, it's, hindsight's twenty twenty, so it's hard to say. Um, I mean, number of, I've made so many foolish mistakes, I have a luck count, honestly. Um, just generally taking the approach that your design is some degree wrong, probably a lot more than you think. Your goal is to make it less wrong over time. Do we have that? Let's go to another question. Well, first of all, you don't need college to learn, it, learn stuff, okay? Everything is available basically for free. Uh, you can learn anything you want for free. It is not a question of learning. Um, there, there is a value that colleges have, which is like, 
you know, seeing whether somebody's, is, can somebody work hard at something, including a bunch of sort of annoying homework assignments and still do their homework assignments uh, and, and kind of soldier through and, and, and get it done. You know, that's, that's like the, the main value of college. And then also, you, you know, if you, you, if you probably want to hang around with a bunch of people your own age for a while instead of going right into the workforce. Um, so I think colleges are basically for fun and to prove you can do your chores, but they're not for learning. I might be, you know, if we don't improve our pace of progress, I'm definitely, you know, going to be dead before we go to Mars. So um, I'm just like, would like to not be dead when by the time we go to Mars. That's <laughs> my aspiration here. Um, so if it's taken us 18 years just to get ready to do the first people to orbit, we better improve our rate of innovation or, you know, based on past trends, I am definitely going to be dead before Mars. So, uh, so we're going to imp improve our pace of innovation a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Um, I guess what it's